You hate ads, I hate ads. You know what I like? Patreon.com slash Inkdependence keeps this channel ad free. Hello folks, welcome to Ink Dependence. I'm Mike and this is a box from Zebra. I don't know, once or twice a year, Zebra has this thing where they do like, I don't know, 50, 40, 50, 60% off of all their stuff on the site. And uh, I go and get like, I don't know, most of the things. So uh, let's get in here and uh, see what I got. I ordered this a couple of weeks ago, I feel like. I don't actually remember what I got. It's one of those things where it's like a short term sale and I'm like, I don't have that, let's get it. Um, yeah, that's open. I'm gonna get this corner over here. My trusty Spyderco Shaman doing the opening here. All right, okay. Now we have here our sweet, sweet uh, list of things, our packing slip. Great, all right. So let's see what we have here. First off, this is something that Audrey's like, hey, they have a 50 slot uh, pen holder thing. I'm like, yeah, all right, let's check that out. And I honestly didn't even look at the listing. I was like, it holds 50 things and it's Zebra. Cool, I've got 50 things probably. So this is the Zebra desktop stand, 50 slots, upright disc desk stand, neatly stores and organizes your pins and markers. 50 slots to hold 50 things. Easy to assemble with snap together parts, plastic display, pens not included. Uh, my packing slip over here doesn't say prices. I want to say this is like, I don't know, five bucks or something like that. It was not very much and I'm like yeah I'll try that so why not so let's let's take this up open this up and see what, uh oh there we go we got we got parts okay okay well this shouldn't be too hard just snap the pieces together Ta-da, I did it. All right, cool. That's not bad for uh, like five bucks holds 50 things. We're not gonna fill this all the way today but it feels pretty good and Good and sturdy. Uh, we should have plenty. We should have plenty of things to add to this, and definitely, uh, I have mild liners and uh, all kinds of things we can totally stick in there. So we'll see what fits. Uh, will it fit my like tactile turns and stuff? Yes, it will. Modern fuel pen. Another more different tactile turn. Side click. Oh, the side click doesn't quite fit. Unless I put the. Ooh, if I put the clip over the side though, it totally does. All right, this might be a place where my side <laughs> some of my side clicks can go. Neat. All right. Well, put these over here for now. Zebra. Good job. Desk stand. All right. What's next? All right. Let's get something that's gonna help us uh, start filling this. This is the Click Art retractable marker pens. Dark color palette. Never dries out. Bullet tip. Smudge proof. Twelve count. This was. Uh, one of the more expensive things, I think, in the pack here, but still not very much because, again, these were like 50 or 60% off that day. Uh, I think we found out, like, we found this through an advertisement, like, fairly deep into the evening. Let me go ahead and just, uh, just try these out real quick. All right, so there's our, uh, <laughs> there's our 12 colors. This one is very pale. I'm not sure this belongs in the... What is this called? The uh, the dark color palette. I'm not sure how that belongs in the dark color palette. And also, I kind of feel like these two are the same. Are they labeled with a color or anything like that? Because these look the same. I guess one of them is supposed to be like kind of maybe browner. I don't know. There's no there's no names on these or anything like that. No codes that I can make out. So, uh, yeah, I don't know, but I feel like they're the same, which is kind of weird to me. Like, I think it's supposed to be these two, but I don't know. I'm pretty, am I imagining it? Did I get two of the same ones? I got two of the same ones, I think. That's weird. That's a weird thing. Uh, I think I was supposed to get a brown there and a maroon, and I guess got two maroons. Well, that's kind of a disappointment, but uh, our little pen stand here is actually working very well. These little tray things in the bottom keep them standing up straight which is pretty nice so these two are the same and also I think I already have one of these because I like this color a lot but this one this one just doesn't belong in this set it's too hard to read all right what's next next I have like four four of pens let's do this brush pen thing next because this seems like um the uh next thing oh this is another sensations are these sensations I feel like they should be if they're not I don't know all right, let's get in here. This is the uh, Zebra double-ended fine and medium tip brush pen here from Zensations. 
Sometimes I use a brush pen just because it makes my writing look pretty cool. Whether you're doing traditional lettering, illustrations, or manga, Zebra brush pens are the tool for you, offering deep, rich black and varying lines, line widths, depending on applied pressure. Permanent pigment ink is acid-free and archival, water-resistant snap caps to maintain pen freshness and life, available in super fine, fine, medium points, and double-ended. All right, cool. So you can use this to like address your letters and that sort of thing if that's what you're into uh, because they are double-ended. Both ends are a brush pen, it looks like. You do very fine lines. You do some more pressure. Yeah, you know, it's, it's pretty pleasing just on that end. What's the other one? Well, the other one's a much larger, much larger tip, but nonetheless, we can still get a very fine line. Actually, yeah, I guess this is a little bit wider. It looks like if you uh, kind of just like press on it and make that brush flatten out just a little bit. You have very comparable lines with either of them. They can also either, you know, either each of them can go very, very fine, which is real interesting. Brush pens are kind of fun. Does this one have a smell to it? No, it doesn't. That's good. I don't like it when they smell bad. So cool. Zensations. I'll be using this like you can use this like address envelopes and stuff like that. I use it for those kinds of things because it is permanent. Does it bleed? Yeah, no bleeding. That's pretty good. This is just whatever random paper they sent these uh, this invoice on. You can see a little bit of uh, like bleed through on here, but not very much. That's pretty good. And I just kind of scribbled on it with a marker, so that's good. I use these for um, all kinds of things, from checking off stuff in my to-do to um, habit trackers to like using them in my planner sometimes to like sometimes I just like take notes on you know on texts I'm reviewing with those. So they're pretty useful. Uh, and they also look nice. So what do we have here? We've got, um, uh, let's do this one. So this is the G750, which is a gel retractable. The um, Zebra G series usually has some cool stuff in these metal bodied pens. This is quite a heavy pen actually. G750 gel retractable, premium brass barrel, rapid dry ink technology, refillable with a JKL refill. Um, these are some of the like uh, classic pens in the everyday carry community. They like these, uh, uh, these ones with the like silver body and the knurled grip. This is just a little bit different from that. Still in the same family, I think. And this does feel nice. It's got a good feel to it. The tip looked interesting. I'm like, that's a that's a much different tip than I'm used to seeing with these. Also, it looks like it's full metal all the way up to the finial, which has uh, maybe a kanji of some kind. I can't really can't really make it out because of the the way that it shines on there. It's got to be this symbol, whatever that is for. But black ink, uh, 0.7 millimeter. Let's see what the refill is in here before we un uncork that. Oh, interesting. Interesting. All right, so I'm not going to be throwing like a Sarasa refill in here or anything, but uh, that's cool. Look how, look how like much metal there is in the front here. That's why it's so heavy. Uh, it also says medium gel around the kind of like what we would call like a, a waist or a cap band sort of situation. Yeah, looks nice. How's this clip? Good, good, powerful clip on there. Nice knurling. All right, let's see how this writes. Peel off this. You're always gonna, you're always gonna get ink on your fingers when you peel off that little nub. Yeah, that's pretty good. This is just random copy paper, of course, but uh, yeah, it feels nice. It's got a soft, like, kind of cushiony feel to it. Oh, is that in the? Hmm. Feel a little bit of like movement I think not just to distract me but it is kind of like maybe there's a little bit of like cushiony or something going on up in here giving a little bit of a smoosh but uh, it does feel it feels like soft nice very dark line extremely uh, consistent yeah I like that this is gonna be a nice pen to throw in the old rotation the only complaint here is that the click is the click is not great um, this one is, uh, I think it goes for like a $10 pin or something like that in general. I, so I paid probably half that, like five bucks. Now this, that's, that's what you get for a, like a, a powerful custom click. So that's the only, that's the only knock here. The only knock is kind of the knock. I'm not a big fan of the, the squishiness, but uh, the pen itself feels nice. And while it is heavy, it's all heavy right here in your fingers. So that feels good. The knurling is nice. It's very fine knurling, so it doesn't feel like it's too aggressive, but definitely gives you some nice grip. That's pretty cool. Pretty cool. All right, nice. 750. Bam, slam you right there in the 50 count pen holder. Uh, and then this one, 
Uh, this one, I wasn't sure what was really going on here, but this seems like it would be pretty interesting. This is the Zebra X701, and it's got kind of an interesting look to it. It comes with two bonus refills, which is kind of cool. It's usable in extreme conditions at 250 degrees Fahrenheit, where I'm going to have problems I'm trying to write there, and also negative 30. If I am in either negative 30 or 250, I have done something very wrong. Uh, this is a black 7.7 millimeter. This has got to be a, yeah, it's a ballpoint. Pressurized barrel, extreme condition writing certified military grade non-reflective stainless steel barrel with a convenient lanyard loop it's got all the right kinds of uh like you know buzzwords pressurized barrel allows pen to write at extreme angles and upside down patent pending five times more durable than your everyday plastic pen i mean at least all right interesting a refill with k refill hmm any of these others what did this one use this one uses the jkl refill all right well let's see what this one looks like I'm not familiar. I don't want to lose those refills. So I'm going to try to not open that part of the thing here. I can just keep the packaging. All right, so this has a pressurized barrel, which is interesting. I don't think I've seen one with a pressurized barrel before. I've definitely seen pressurized refills and that sort of thing. And I've seen some pens that also like pressurize themselves when you click them. Um, like this one, the Tombow Air Press, which has an interesting little system in there that kind of pressurizes the refill every time you click it, which means that sometimes if you overclick, it will uh, end up shooting some ink out of the, the tiny, tiny little refill here that is, um, I've got about half left on this one. I've got a little pack of these refills, but every time you press it, it kind of like pressurizes this thing apparently, which is interesting. That's why it's the Air Press. Well, this is a weird little pencil pen from Tombow that, uh, let's see how you write right now. I haven't used you in a while. Yes, it's a blue refill. Uh, I had a black one. I didn't like the black one that much because I'm really more of a blue refill person. But yeah, I haven't used this in quite a while and it starts right up, which is nice. The white does get grungy. It's gotten kind of grungy over time because it's kind of rubbery. So let's see how this one works. What have we got inside here? Hope I didn't just depressurize the barrel and make it. Look at this spring. Yo, that's a big old spring. Okay. All right, looks like a pretty normal normal refill here interesting kind of goes 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 deep into this mechanism in the back which i must have something to do with the pressurization because it goes in there quite a ways and it's got a really solid connection so that's interesting and the spring is way up here huh so it looks like the spring mechanism isn't in the front of the pen like you usually expect like down here the spring is back up here and it's going to be pressing against something here Maybe it's got that strong compression so that it can uh, pressurize the barrel hmm. or the uh, the refill. All right, the clip on here, clip on here is totally fine. It's serviceable, but it's not as good. I don't think uh, it's not as doesn't feel as strong as this one on the 750. Oh, it's got a nice flat side on it too. I hadn't even noticed. It's got a bunch of flat sides. Yeah, it's faceted. Oh, well, that's nice. All right, all right. So let's see how this one writes. You don't usually find these tips on a ballpoint. You usually find those on a gel pen. So that's kind of interesting. Uh, yeah, it writes right away. Keeps up some quick writing. It feels better. It's got a better feeling knock. You do have this uh, nice little lanyard here. Does it say this is a metal barrel? It actually, did it say? Non-reflective stainless steel barrel. Doesn't feel, I mean, it's got a little bit of weight to it, but it's not very heavy. I would expect it to be heavier than it is. Oh, here it is. Um, let's see, pressurized barrel. Due to the pressurized barrel mechanism, which allows writing upside down at extreme, extreme angles, some ink blobbing may occur if the pen is left retracted for, an ex retracted for an extended period of time. Oh, that's interesting. And then they've got this like little image here. All right, so you are, uh, you are pressurizing it when you click it, I think is what's going on there. Huh. Very interesting, very interesting. But yeah, it writes pretty well. I don't think I like this as much. This is clearly a plastic piece. So they've got like this metal barrel. And then I think, oh, this is, oh, unscrews here too. Oh, interesting. Is this, yeah, this is, uh, this is metal too. You can see the stainless steel in there. So this has got a little bit of weight. And then this, yeah, so this is plastic. I think they should have just gone full metal on this thing, honestly. They just give us full metal, give us the knurling like you gave us on here. And then this would be a really banging pen. It's kind of thicker, which is nice. 
uh, makes it easier to hold on to, I think. But uh, this is just a little bit, even though it has these honeycombs, just a little bit on the slipperier, slipperier side than I would expect for something like this. But uh, it does write nicely. And you can see the massive difference between a 0.7 millimeter gel pen and a 0.7 millimeter ballpoint, just an entirely different animal. So if you are a fan of a thicker line, uh, you can get a 0.7 millimeter um, gel pen and it's like bigger way bigger this is probably bigger than a one millimeter ballpoint uh, but if you get the five millimeter you'll probably be closer to the seven millimeter ballpoint so like gels and ballpoints they write very differently and it's something to be aware of when buying pens but i think this is pretty nice i would clip this to my shirt and go out and do stuff all right we're not full but we're getting there all right two more uh and these are ones that i got because i have this pen in the uh the 0.5 millimeter let me go find it right quick all right, so this is the Zebra Blend, and this is the uh, 0.5 millimeter version. You can see it right there. Uh, and these are a nice pen. They've got like a sort of a rubbery feeling grip to them. Uh, this one is very fine, though. A 0.5 millimeter ballpoint is a little bit on the fine side for me, so. It's totally fine. <laughs> it's fine, uh, but uh, maybe just a little bit skinny for me a lot of the times. I know uh, my friend Brad Dowdy would really like that, but I'm more of a I'm more of a, a wider ballpoint fan. Uh, noise free design, noise free design that eliminates gaps in each part inside the pen, which is nice. Although I do get a little bit of a, a rattle when it's ah uh, a little bit of a rattle when uh, the point is retracted. But once you put the point out. Totally silent. Very nice. And uh, this up here, no tip wiggle or anything like that, which I like a lot. I don't like it when my tip rattles. Direct touch tip, direct touch tip design that holds the tip firmly to eliminate uncomfortable vibrations. Yeah, nobody likes tip rattle. Low center of gravity that makes the pin more stable and easy to control. Yeah, it's definitely weighted more for, toward the front, which is what we like. Uh, we like that in a pen. All right, so let's see what the 0.7 feels like for the blend. All right, let's open it up, see the refill. <laughs> this is big old refill in here. All of these have had a different refill in them entirely. This is the JNC.7 refill. And take that little tip blob off of there. Uh, but yeah, nice, nice uh, construction in here. It looks good. It's all plastic parts, but lots of like barrel thickness. And you can actually see in there, there are a bunch of extra parts in there. It looks like, a, looks like there's a rubber O-ring. Kind of halfway up there. Let's see if that, that. Let's see if I can feel it. Yeah, I think there's an O-ring up in there. That's kind of interesting. That keeps the the back from wobbling. A little bit of a, a noise when it's just like the other one. And then once you click it, yeah, totally. Yeah, that's good. Can I make this? Hmm. This doesn't seem to do anything. I wonder what this is. Huh. I thought maybe that was something. So if you put it on your shirt, it would retract it, but it actually doesn't seem to do anything. I don't know what that piece is for. Weird. All right. So this is the point seven. Oh, this is a gel. Oh, I thought these were all ballpoints. No, nope, that's the wrong one. Yeah, this is a gel retractable. Okay, so this is gonna be much, much uh, wider. So rapid dry gel ink. This one's a ballpoint, I'm almost certain. Yeah, NCO 0.5. Yeah, this is a ballpoint, I think. It's kind of hard to tell just looking at the refill, but I'm fairly sure that one's a ballpoint. Interesting. All right. <laughs> that is so much bigger. I was expecting a 0.7 millimeter ballpoint. This is definitely a gel. You can totally see the difference in these things. Um, <laughs> such a huge jump. All right, so I kind of want something in between these two. I want a 0.7 millimeter, millimeter ballpoint or five millimeter gel, but uh, the ballpoint is pretty, like it's a pretty nice little very fine ballpoint. It writes just fine, but uh, yeah, the gel, that's pretty fat. So yeah, this is, it's a pleasant pen to write with though. I really like the feel of it. I think that this, uh, this grip section feels very nice and it actually hasn't gotten too grungy over time. I've had this one for like at least a year, probably more like two. And it's like slightly grungier, I suppose, but it really hasn't picked up the grunge like you will on, or like I have on this one. Although I've had this one significantly longer. 
So uh, yeah, interesting, interesting stuff. So yeah, that's a fun, that's a fun little haul from uh, from Zebra right there. I can fill the rest of these up with um, like all kinds of highlighters and other pens and that sort of thing. So I think this is a pretty fun, uh, pretty fun, uh, pretty fun thing. Let's see if I can put some like sarasas and let's see what else fits in this just for funsies. All right, so this is a Zebra Sarasa R. Yeah, Sarasa R fits, no problem. There's some more click art pens. Uh, there's another click art pen. Yeah, I already had the orange one. Not a big surprise that I had an orange one though, right? Uh, there's a Pilot G2, do you fit in there? Yeah, Pilot G2 fits in there, even with that larger grip. Uh, these are some Stadler, or sorry, Schneider sliders. I like the Schneider sliders, they're pretty nice. Big triangular shaped pen, that's good, those fit. Uh, how about this big old Schneider uh, One Business? Uh, one Business doesn't quite fit. As you can see, it doesn't, it doesn't really go through, the cap is too big. But it will, st it will sit in there. All right, this is a bigger Zebra, this is the Sarasa Dry X1. Um, pretty much, the clip actually doesn't quite fit in there, but it works okay. Uh, this is a much thicker pen. This is the X10. Yeah, the X10, too big. Don't try to stick your X10s in there. It's got way too much rubbery stuff here at the front for grip stuff. That one doesn't fit. This is the uh, the Zebra G uh, Zebra GP, which is a 0.7 millimeter uh, ballpoint refill. This is another one of their metal-bodied pens. Stick that over there. There's the Zebra Sarasa Grande. Yep, <laughs> slams right in there, no problem. This is uh, Uniball 1. Yep, no problem. Uh, what else do we have in here that's a little bit different? There's another one of these gray ones. Yeah, knew I had the gray. Uh, this is the uh, Pentel Energel Kuro, which I don't think they sell anymore. It's kind of a skinny pen. No problem. How about this one? This is a uh, Pilot Bravo. Um, the Bravo. What are you doing? Oh, it's catching on the. It's catching on the cap. Bravo doesn't fit. These two don't fit. <laughs> this is the Uniball Boxy Mitsubishi Uniball. I think is who makes this. Uh, Mitsubishi Pencil Company, I think it's probably Uni, although I'm not 100% sure now. This is the Boxy, which is one of the original side clicks. Of course, that fits in there, no problem. And, uh, you know, your various pencils and that sort of thing will fit in there also. So, yeah, pretty good, pretty good. Uh, I'm going to definitely put some pens in this, so totally worth the five bucks. Yeah, all right, so cool. That's my little, uh, that's my little zebra haul there. Uh, let me know if you found something in there that you like or that you use all the time. And, uh, you know... Uh, let me know. Let me know how you like it. There you go. I'll see y'all later. <gasps> Peace out. Not good enough. No, this is what are you doing? Come on, scooch. Go on, scoochy booches. All right.